Today in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a dual band mesh network and a tri band mesh network and which one is going to be best for your home. So stay tuned. Hey, smart home enthusiasts, my name is Kyle Wright and I'm your smart home butler here to help you get from I don't know where to start home to smart home where we genuinely believe there are no stupid questions. So question of the day, what is your biggest problem in your smart home right now? Let me know in the comments below and you might have your problem answered in a future video. In a traditional wireless network, you are connecting to the internet. So I'm going to draw this little cloud and this is going to be our internet and you have a connection to a modem and to a router. Now most internet ser service providers are going to give you a single box that serves both the function of the modem and the function of the router. And most of the time these boxes that you get from your internet service provider are a dual band network, meaning that there's two bands that provide the internet service. You have a 2.4 gigahertz network and you have a five gigahertz network. And so this little box will transmit the wireless signal for both your 2.4 and your 5 gigahertz network. This is why a lot of times you'll see two different network names, one being the 2.4 and then the, the other one being the 5 gigahertz network that usually has 5G appended to the end of the network name. So these two bands are responsible for delivering the network to all of the devices in your network. Your phones, your tablets, your TVs, your Xboxes, I'm going to draw a little person here just because I think that's funny. And all of your devices connect to either the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz network. Now where this starts to get interesting is when you start adding in a mesh network or multiple access points. So we have an access point here, we have an access point here, and remember this is our modem and our router. So we have to connect via Ethernet to this router, but then wirelessly connect between these access points and the main router. Now, this is possible with a dual band network by using the five gigahertz network. Now where this starts to become a problem is over here, we're sending out our signal via these access points as well, both our 2.4 and our 5 gigahertz wireless is going to be going from the access points as well. Now where this starts to become a problem is the 5 gigahertz network is used to connect through the backbone of all of these devices wirelessly, but is also responsible for sending that wireless internet to your devices from all sorts of different places. So we might have you know some more tablets and some more devices say that are connecting to this one. Now the problem with that is with a five gigahertz network, our bandwidth or our maximum speed for our five gigahertz network is 900 megabits per second. Where this becomes a problem in a mesh network is that we have to split that 900 megabits per second between the backhaul or the connection between the router and the access points and the devices that we're connecting to. So as long as you don't have more than a 450 megabit per second internet connection that you're getting from your internet service provider, a dual band network will work perfectly in your home. As long as you're not planning to have fiber or gigabit internet installed in that location within the next several years. So how a tri-band mesh network works is instead of just having the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz network, we have a second additional 5 gigahertz network that is solely responsible for the backbone connection 
between our router and our access points. The great thing about this is this allows us, instead of sending 450, allows us to dedicate the full 900 megabits per second to the backbone through this 5 gigahertz network. And then we have the traditional 5 gigahertz network that is going to now be able to send 900 megabits per second to all of our devices. This is great for anybody that has fiber internet or is again above 450 megabits per second. So that's the main differences between a dual band and a tri-band mesh network. And the biggest takeaway is, like I said, if you have internet speed that is less than 450 megabits per second and you have no intentions of upgrading that speed to anything faster or to fiber internet within the next four to five years, then you are fine buying a dual band mesh network and it's going to be much more affordable than buying a tri-band network which is made more for people with fiber internet connections. If you want to learn more about mesh networking, I have some more videos that you can check out over here. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click below and check out more videos here at Right Near Home. Have a wonderful day.